Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we're in front of the Stephen King shows, so you know what that means. I'm sorry, I know this, I told you it was going to be Thursday Theorists this week, but I need a little more time to try and connect some dots. I gotta go back and reread like the last couple of chapters of another book to make sure that I can actually connect this one to it like I want to because I I seem to remember a connection um, and I don't want to spoil anything so I'm not going to say it here because this is a spoiler free review of Black House the second in the Talisman series or the Jake Sawyer series or the Territory series whatever you want to call it um, <laughs> every single site I go to has a different one I think Goodreads has it as the Talisman book two so in this one we come across uh, Jack Sawyer decades after the events of the Talisman. Like I said, there's going to be no spoilers here. Um, it takes a little while for him to show up. It's kind of like, uh, not end of watch, it's kind of like uh, Finder's Keepers in that regard. And I think that's one of the things that made me enjoy this one that much more because if I'm honest, I didn't really care for Jack Sawyer and the Talisman. Um, he was not a character. In fact, I, I didn't really care for any of the characters in the Talisman, except for maybe Speedy Parker or Parkus. You know, that's probably the only person that I had any connection with whatsoever. Wolf was fine, but I think out of everybody, that I, I, I think that's one of the reasons why, now that I'm saying it out loud, it's one of the reasons why I didn't care much for that book. He has written much better... Uh, child characters. Uh, Peter Straub, I don't know that I've ever read a story where Peter Straub wrote kids. Um, I'm not sure. I'm maybe misremembering. <laughs> I don't know. Um, trying to run through it. I don't think so. Uh, if I'm wrong, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. If you have, a, for instance, a Peter Straub writing a children character, doesn't even have to be a good example. Just let me know. But uh, in this one, it it's a completely different story. Can Completely different build, completely different engine, delivery system, everything. This book has almost nothing to do with the talisman aside from the connection with Jack Sawyer. Um, I'm very interested to know if this was a Peter Straub thriller that turned into a Stephen King collaboration into the next Jack Sawyer novel. I am very interested if I could, in fact I'm so tempted to ask Peter Straub, but he seems a bit... Uh, standoffish when it comes to talking about this series because so many people have given him so much shit um, about, you know, it, it, they just completely, it's an erasure of him from both books. They always think it's a Stephen King book. And I have a tendency to do that too. It's a crappy thing to do, but unfortunately we do it because most of the people who read this book read it because it is a Stephen King book. Um, and in this one, you're playing in Stephen King's universe. You're not playing in Peter Straub's universe. So there's even more connection to Stephen King in this one than even the last one. The last one deals with the territories. In here, it may or may not be. I don't want to spoil it here, but <clears throat> do we return to the territories? Do we not? Um, I will let you guys discuss that in the Thursday Theorist and the spoiler review that I do for it. Um, I want to give a quick shout out and thank you to uh, my good friend Angela who read this with me. I had just got through reading The Talisman. She said she had bought both books and I was like, hey, uh, you want to, because I thought I was going to hate this. After coming off The Talisman, I honestly thought I was going to hate this. The first time I read it was when it was first released and I was utterly destroyed on heroin at that time. Um, in fact, if I recall properly, which I probably don't, junkie memory, I, I seem to recall me being in rehab, or not being in, I never actually went and stayed at a rehab facility, but going through withdrawals and rehab, that kind of thing, on my own time, on my own merits, while reading this book. So I remember absolutely nothing about this book. There's some scenes I remember that I thought were in here, <coughs> sorry, that are not in here at all. So I don't know where they are. <laughs> Hopefully eventually I'll find the scenes, or maybe I just made them up in my head. Um, but this one is such a, like I said, it's such a completely different experience. Um, but I read it with Angela. Thank you for reading it with, uh, I want to finish that other thought, sorry. Uh, thank you for reading it with me, Angela. I had a blast. Uh, we caught some things together. Uh, there was things that, uh, she caught that I hadn't. In fact, I confused, I completely confused one character who is four different characters. You'll know when you read the book. Um, I completely confused that character right off the bat. And had I, and had I not been reading with Angela, 
I probably would have complete because I was taking some pretty strong pain medicine at the time. Uh, I might have given some wrong information in either the spoiler discussion that's coming or the Thursday series. So thank you so much, Angela. You saved my ass. Um, it's also a funny uh, circular thing that the first time I read this, I was withdrawing from heroin. And the second time I tried to read it, the first, I think, 200 pages of me reading the book, I was completely fucked on narcotics. Uh, because of my back injuries. Well, I mean, I have chronic uh, back. I've had five back, back pain because I've had five back surgeries since 2005. So I wasn't just, you know, messing around with opiates or anything. But uh, anyways, I'm getting off on a tangent. The, uh, the, the point of what I'm getting at, it, I think it's funny, you know, that, that these things go in cycles. It seems, it seems to be a, a theme <laughs> with me in this book and, you know, opiate. Oh, oh, you know, that type of stuff. I thought that was funny to mention, so I mentioned it. Um, the book is written in a completely different style. We're going to start talking about the differences, and again, no spoilers. The book is written in first, no, third person omniscient, which means that King and Straub are literally, they are the ones telling the story. In fact, at one point in time, they reference themselves. They don't give each other names, but they reference themselves. So you're you got this godlike uh, scene. You got godlike scenes where we we pan up and away. We fly away. Sometimes we're a bird. Sometimes we're a collective group of people that the uh, that the authors call we. You know, we float above it all. We see this. We see that. We think this. We think that. Um, we feel that. All that. So if you don't like those kind of books, just imagine this. If you've read Needful Things, or if you want a really quick example, go read the very first, uh, like, prologue bit, the very first introduction part of Needful Things. If you would, if you would dig that, and you want an entire book that's written like that, this is the book for you. Um, the Talisman was written in third-person, close perspective and not omniscient. It was written, I think there was some omniscient parts, but pretty much we were with Jack the entire time, except for the the, the bits with, uh, well, yeah, I, I won't spoil that one for you here. But uh, th this one, you're dealing with an entire cast of people. You got uh, the group of bikers, you have the radio DJ, you have the main character, Jack Sawyer, you have Dale Gilber Gilbertson, the uh, chief of police, these characters are so flesh and blood alive, I remember each and every one of them. Of course, I just finished it, but I tend not to remember characters after right after reading. It takes me, it takes me a while to get, to get to know them, and I usually have to read a book several times before it gets to the point where I can name like the whole cast. You know, I remember even the small characters like Doc and, uh, oh, I just said I remembered the name, <laughs> Beezer. I'm sorry, Beezer. Uh, St. Pierre, I think is the name. So, I mean, I even re remember the names of people, the names that weren't even used that much because he's referred to as Beezer. These characters were so alive for me. The only one, oddly enough, that was not very alive for me was Tyler. Um, and Tyler is a very, very important character in this book. Um, the character of Charles Burnside is a fantastic character. I loved every minute of that. I remember I remember somebody saying, <laughs> I remember somebody saying uh, on Goodreads when I when I posted that I was reading this. Somebody said I couldn't stand this book because all it is is an old man dreaming about eating ass. And I didn't know what they were talking about until I got into it and I started reading it. And it's it's funny what people latch on to with with stories like this <laughs> because it's the, there's only the, I mean. It's a 650-page book. There's probably five or six mentions about eating ass, but it's not eating ass as in the, the you know, gotta eat the booty, booty like groceries. <laughs> it's nothing like that. Uh, the, uh, I done got the giggles, y'all. I'm sorry. Hang on. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Back to it. <laughs> Maybe not. Hold up. Okay. Now we're back. Um, but... It's it's funny that that's what this individual latched onto, you know, 650 pages, maybe five pages at the most out of the entire thing discussed that, um, but the uh, and some other people said th that they they absolutely hated this book, and then you have some people that love this book, but the the theme, the recurring theme that I found, the popular consensus is. If you like, even, I said this in the Talisman video, if you loved the Talisman, 
you're probably going to hate this book because it is a completely different experience. I'm not a huge fan of fantasy, so I didn't like the talisman. Um, this one is, it's not rooted in the real world, well, it is rooted in the real world, but it's more of a magical realism there for a while, um, whereas the talisman is full-blown fantasy. I mean, you've got knights and guards and queens and all different kinds of shit. You don't have any of that in here. If that's a slight spoiler for you, I apologize, but I want you to know it's a completely different book. Um, now, if you hated the talisman. If you didn't like the talisman, you'll probably end up loving Black House. This is uh, the majority of people I talk to, that is the case. Now, are there people who love both? Yes. Are there people who hated both? Yes. But the majority of the community says you're either going to, if you love one, you're going to hate the other. It's just that simple. So, uh, if you read Black House, what did you think? Leave your comments down there in the doobly doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Stephen King book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye!